Hello everyone, this is Pugdy. We, uh, I haven't, I've made a lot of EU4 videos, but I haven't published a lot of them because I'm actually not very good at this game, and after I make a long video about stuff, I find something of somebody that knows way more than I do, and is much better than I am, so I, <laughs> so I haven't published a lot of stuff. But, there is one thing that I have been ahead on the curve on. I was trying to get Bohemia into a PU with Brandenburg way before it was popular. And um, even though there's a guide online about how to form Byzantium, or basically get all your cores back and beat the Ottomans starting from their original cores, I find that process to be very tedious, very hard for me to accomplish. One out of five times I'll win the war and one out of ten times I'll win it well, meaning I get all the cores back and I get some gold back to pay off, you know, uh, 15 of the 40 loans that I have, which still puts me in mass amount of debt. Starting off as Byzantium, conquering uh, some of the Ottomans, puts you in a mass amount of debt, destroys your manpower, you are very behind on stability and a couple of other things, and you're kind of toast for a couple of decades after that. You just can't do anything. Unless you secure an alliance with Austria or the Mamelukes or somebody reasonably powerful afterwards, um, even if you ally Serbia and Wallachia, like Venice might still come take advantage of you and just, you know, take you out because... Wallachia and Serbia are not enough to stop Venice with their vassals and their, you know, stack of 26,000 people. You just won't be able to stop them. So, um, I decided I really liked playing Byzantium. I really wanted to try forming Rome as them, which is pretty hard to do. You know, it's a lot easier if you're Austria or France or even Spain. But uh, um, I do want to try doing it as Milan at some point. But that's really hard because... You can Milan can only really expand in, in the Italy place for about a, like 50 to 100 years. Byzantium can expand in Anatolia, uh, Mesopotamia, Egypt, Italy, North Africa, like Spain, a lot of stuff pretty quickly. Um, they get claims on southern Italy. They can expand the Balkans. Milan has to get through Venice. They got to get into Genoa. They got to secure this stuff and this stuff. And as far as aggressive expansion, once you like solidify that, that, and that, I mean, that, that's like 50 years right there. We're, we're looking at 1,500 and you've gotten three more states uh, without a massive coalition. And by that time, a lot of these places are solidified. But anyway, long story short, what I like to do is start off as the Ottomans and make them weak enough, but not super weak. Um, we are allied to Tunis, who's somewhat strong, and we've given uh, Vlor to Albania. We sold it to him, and this means when we release Byzantium, Venice will not have a clear path to kind of do any cores over here. They will oftentimes get a core or a claim right there, which they have done, they haven't done it there, but they really like to get this right here. Um, sometimes they might do it, you know, down here, but I generally, they will, generally if I sell this to Albania, Venice will not attack me. They have sometimes, they might get a claim in Biga via Naxos, but um, long story short, sell that to Albania to prevent a war with Venice after, um, after our independence war or before our independence war, uh, sell this to Kandar so that they are... Um, so this is one less province we'll have to conquer. We'll vassalize them and then take this core. Then we'll have a tiny little guy right there to do. And we separate all these guys as well, not only to make the Ottomans weak, but uh, so that we can eventually vassalize each of these guys separately and then annex them. Uh, which will avoid separatism. So um, the only thing I haven't really figured out is taking the best ideas. There's a couple different theories, and I can get into them a little bit later. But the goal is to 
basically as the Ottomans release these guys, conquer Byzantium, take a maximum amount of loans, get your stability up to three. And the reason we take the loans is not just to bankrupt the Byzant uh, or the Ottomans. It's so that when we release Byzantium, we'll have like 1,800 to 2,000 gold, which is a great starting position, much better than being in debt 1,000 ducats uh, if we go the Byzantium conquering route. Um, Byzantium will also have three stability, which is huge. That means we'll be basically making money even if we have a maxed navy, maxed army, and uh, uh, advisor in every slot. Also, when Byzantium starts, when we release them, they will have the exact same tech as us. And if we start them, we basically release them five years after the game starts, and they're at 333, they're already behind. So what I tried to do is... Um, I basically put uh, make develop uh, my diplomatic my focus. I have my lots of military, um, two two skill points across the board, one 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 in the estates, and then that allows me at least within you know four to five years, usually within like three and a half to four, depending on events to get military, diplomatic, um, tech. And as you can see where I am right now, I was able to vassalize or uh, annex Byzantium uh, and still have some Diplo left over. And we just changed our capital to here. So administrative, you need to have enough to get three stability and change your capital to here. That's what you need from that. Diplo, you need to have enough to get your... Uh, tech up one, and you don't even have to. I waited to get my tech up to one, then I annexed these guys, and I ended up having to wait to get my administrative up, so it ended up being okay. But depending on how things go, you could also just, you know, get your tech up, then take out Byzantium, and this will be in the negative, but it doesn't matter. Then you release these vassals, um, Aiden. I don't know how they got a core on all that so quickly, but uh, this is their original cores, and then I gave them these. Same thing with this guy, started off with uh, those four. I gave them that, that, and that. And I just released Ertna, or Etna. So, another problem with the start of Byzantium is that you it's very hard to guarantee strong alliances. I've gotten the Mamelukes occasionally immediately after the war with the Ottomans, especially if I can change them to friendly, especially if I can get the Ottomans to be a rival, which is touch and go when you are... What I do is the, uh, the Byzantium is I go after Epirus as fast as possible, vassalize them, and then I can sometimes be like rival the Ottomans. And if I can keep that rivalship um, for a while... When I go to war with them, then the spy network grows and Mamelukes will like me more and they will ally me after the war. I am sometimes able to get Austria as well, um, but again, without a strong ally, Venice will come in and take you out. Or without a strong ally, after 20 years, you might have your stuff paid off, but even then you aren't able to take on the Ottomans. So it's just, it's just very touch and go for me trying to get that Byzantium campaign to work. I've done it before where I was able to, you know, conquer a large bunch of stuff. Uh, almost got Rome, but couldn't complete it because, again, I'm not a very good player. And, uh, but couldn't do it. This way, I think, is just gives you a much better start. You only have to do two wars with the Ottomans before they're wiped out. And I'll show you. So I've got the money. Got that, got that. I think that's all I need. Move the, move that, okay. So let's do it. We're not gonna release Bulgaria because that's gonna be our second war is doing a reconquest and everything we take from them in the second war is going to be a reconquest because we're gonna have Kandar as a vassal, hopefully. And the great thing about having these guys as allies and or, vassal, or uh, vassals of the Ottomans is this guy will be pretty free for the taking after the war. And uh, the first war, we're going to declare a war of independence. Byzantium, good, play the subject. All right, let's do it. 
Um, we're going to take these and get independence for ourselves. So uh, that is the plan. Normally, if I do this and I claim this as having vital interest, all of my allies will basically transfer ownership of these to me. But last game, when I tried to do a, a test of it, um, these guys had a... Like, they, Aiden claimed this, Germain claimed that, and I only got that, which, I mean, I might as well restart. Like, the whole point is to get this entire state cut off the Ottomans from pretty much all of this except for that, which is a Kandarian core, and all of this, which is a Bulgarian core. So first war, we take this and grant independence. I probably don't even take any cash because I don't need it, and I want the war, the war time to be lower. Then I release Bulgaria, and then the next war, after I vassalized Kandar, and I might have that be able to vassalize Aiden too, um... The next war, even though I got a lot of aggressive expansion from that, is just purely reconquesting Bulgarian cores and the Kandar cores. And then the Ottomans are done in like, uh, they're, they're literally all gone in about 20 years from the start of the game. Well, maybe about 25, because this, this peace thing is going to last maybe 15 to 19 years, and it's already, it's about 10 years before you, before this, after the start of the game, where you're actually free because we got a five years to yeah so first thing we got to do check out our ruler who is not bad he's not good he's three 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 but that's better than two three two um i wouldn't restart with this guy this is actually good considering i'm going to be able to uh um oof, this is perfect we want Either tax or inflation reduction. Diplomatic relation to help us get uh, allies. And fort defense because we're not going to be doing a lot of fighting, but we don't want to lose. It doesn't really matter. The military is not important. We're not going to be fighting anyone for a while. Our allies are going to be killing the Ottomans. We want to... Also, if you have a game where the Ottomans do not rival Austria and Mamluks, just reset... It's okay if there's a Poland, it's okay if there's a Venice, and uh, either of those are okay. The big ones are Austria and the Mamelukes. Those are ones that you can usually get. The Mamelukes... <sighs> 99. Okay, so they have too many diplomatic relations at 20. However, if it goes up to 40, like they get one extra ally, it'll be a lot harder, but we could potentially still do it. Um, we just have to we just have to see. With the other way, starting as Byzantium, you cannot guarantee any big alliances. You just can't. With this one, I might be able to, within the first like ten years, have three major alliances: in the Mamluks, Austria, and depending on the game, either Poland, Hungary, or Venice. Um, and even if none of those are available, you can almost always. Austria is always a possibility unless they're at war. The Mamelukes is a little bit more sketchy, but it's possible. Um, and not that you have to do the same thing every time. It's just, it's just fun. Uh, I like to have the Mamelukes because they, they will really help me take out you know North Africa and Italy and even go into Spain because they hate the Spanish. So where are we? We got to do, got to do our transfer trade. Got to do our transfer trade stuff, get that set up. And uh, this is going to be going up, don't worry. We are going to get rid of you. And can I gain five influence and five loyalty? I can't get rid of that. So I'm going to get rid of the... I'm going to... Uh, yeah, I'm going to get rid of that now. I'm going to seize land. And the, the Ottomans are going to take care of that for me. You want to have one guy down there, so they take care of it pretty quick. Um, I'm going to summon the Diet. Base tax. We're going to do base tax for a while, and the reason we're going to do that... Why the fuck is my prestige so low? It's like negative 17. Huh. I couldn't tell you. Alright, so we're going to raise our 
uh, base tax for a while with this just because we want to get as much prestige as possible so that we can get the faceting event which changes this from glass to gems and uh, that is great for trade value, goods produced, money in general. It's just much better. Um, when it happens, I can show you guys. But uh, So first thing we got to focus on, we got to get our money going. Monopoly, Monopoly. With this start two, even with the Monopolies, even with the Monopolies and the Supremacy over the Crown, which we are getting, even with a maxed out army, even with a maxed out navy, we are going to be in the positive as far as our treasury. Don't ask me how it works, it just does. So the first thing we gotta do, after all the other things we do, work on Austria, work on the Mamelukes. Those are our two bread and butter ones. Uh, Venice, ugh, I guess they're not gonna join us this time. I thought they might, but sometimes they don't desire all of your stuff. But this time they do desire it all. No, it's a little bit less. I might be able to, yeah, actually, well, if I got their opinion above 100, they would join the war right now because they hate the Ottomans. And I actually kind of want to do that so they have a peace timer with the Ottomans uh, so that the Ottomans are not attacked because I will want their stuff later. Uh, oh, second thing I got to do, the most important thing, mothball all the forts and now we are making 1.5 a month we have three stability we are even though Skanderberg oh god I love Skanderberg 656 we are ahead of him in tech we are ahead of Serbia in tech we're ahead of everyone in tech the the, the Ottomans put us ahead we are both of these are ahead and and so Instead of starting with like zero, you know, five years into the future, we are starting at two tech points ahead. And part of me really wants to put this up, but uh, you know what? I think I am going to do that. Yeah, eight and eight will do that because I need to get, I'm going to have to be coring. I'm going to have to be doing some more stability after something. So we're going to do that. Tolerance of the true faith. That kind of sucks. Okay. Next project, we are going to have to watch our manpower, and when it's time, we need to... Oh, fuck you, Venice. I was actually... Epirus was allied to Ragusa, and I was... Eh, I was hoping to go to war with them, and vassalize Ragusa as well, and then use them to take Bosnia and this whole section, but... Eh, whatever. Epirus is fun. Usually they ally, ally Bosnia or Ragusa. Sometimes they'll ally Cyprus, but whatever. And then when you conquer them and actually, you know, annex them, you can sometimes get Bosnia. And that's my favorite one for them to ally, actually. God, I hope they don't ally Venice. One, two... <sighs> Fucking Venice. Once this gets to 300, we got to build ships. It's pretty easy to build a navy quick or a, a army quickly, but if you don't, if you forget about your navy, you're not going to be able to get. Um, Austria is pretty easy to get, but it's going to be harder for you to get the Mamelukes. And trust me, you want the Mamelukes as an ally for at least 100 years. Because you're not going to be expanding down here anytime soon because you want to take all of this. And then after that, you can expand into here. And you can expand up here, use Georgia as a vassal to take all this, use Iraq as a vassal to take all of this. And while that's going on, you're using the Mamelukes to take Italy, you're using the Mamelukes to take Tunis, you're using the Mamelukes to go after Spain. It's, uh, they're very valuable. And here's the thing, down the road when the 1700s hit and you've got most of Spain and France and you've got a foothold up here, it's not that hard to break an alliance with them and just wipe, just take what you need. You know, use Syria, take all the cores, take this for yourself, then it, that, annex it. It's like two wars. So. All right. So normally, I've already said this, normally when I 
go to war with the Ottomans, I place these as a vital, you know, uh, as a vital thing for me. But, all right, let's do the prestige. But it didn't work last time, so I might be able to fast send my men there, but it might also be better to... Um, it might be better to just actually build a a spy network. And I could just do it on this one right there um, so that I can send men there and there real quickly, but I will just have to see. Military engineer? <sighs> My prestige is already so fucking low. What's that like? It's like two years? Two? That's one year about. Yeah, that's about one year. Okay, we'll, we'll take it. So I may build a spy network after I raise this stuff enough. I want to get it to 50. Galley. Boink. Oof, good job, Naples. Restoration of the Union. Oof. Well, they're going to be safe now. At least they're not going to be in a Union. It'll be easier for us to take them out. Did I only do four? Yes, I did. So we're making 180 a month. Got all of our guys. Where are we at with our boats? Okay, I must have only built four at that one point, so I need three more. One, two, and three. As you can see, let's look at Austria. Oh, cruel, minus 30. Oh god, that's gonna be hard. Well, 20 more relations. Building an army, getting our navy up, that might be easier. Let's see. Oof. Yeah, the Mamluks without that, uh, without the too many diplomatic stuff, that's going to be easier for us. So. Time for it. Nah, I don't care about that. Okay. So I am going to get a free company. Um, probably in a year. I just want to save up the money real quick. Two base tax. Sure. Okay. Now let's see where we are up here. 95. So, Navy strength still low. That's gonna be that's gonna be rough. Whew. The army's gonna help them. Oh, there we go. All right, so we already have the Mamluks, barring another alliance from somebody else that they get. Um, man, that plus thirty for the uh, the Austrians is dicey. Let's see. The diplomatic reputation helps. Um, the navy helps. We've got our. There. Got our navy. I don't know why that's not working. Okay. 83. So, build our army. Um, keep getting that attitude going. This is why you need them to be an arrival, too. That's plus 30. So, what do we got? We got a few years. February... 54. Yeah, I'll take the hit. I want more, want more manpower. So we're going to recall because there's not much else we can do. And we're going to build a spy network. 
probably should have done that earlier. But normally just, you know, setting this as vital interest is the is the important part, so. Nah, I don't really need to wait much more. Let's do a free company. Twelve. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's check out Austria now. Oof, it's close, but we did it. And we're going to put that to friendly just in case we can get them to change. Not that we need it, but that's a. If that stays true, wait a minute. If they get even if they get another ally and that goes up to eighty-two negative, that should still work. We can do that for build force limit, which might even help us. Yeah. Okay, so we got Austria. Um, now we're just waiting. And where are we at? So we're at minus five. Okay, so we got our boat. We got our guy. It's close. I'm gonna I'm gonna lower our army thing just temporarily. Um, just to save on some money. Yeah. And this is better for money, this is better for expansion. I know I could switch it at any time. I tend to have a lot of vassals. This is good for getting money from them. Over time, this is better for getting a little bit extra in the deal. Unjustified demands. I'm going to actually check and see if that helps with vaseline, vaselizing real quick. Um, Unjustified demands are peace terms that are not part of the war goal. They will cost three per development of affected provinces. Annex, return core, cancel subject release nation, force vassalization. So that does help with vassalizing. So, I know diplomat... I know diplomatic, this is province war score. Influence is unjustified demand. I'm not sure what the difference is. This is for all provinces, I think. This is for things where you're not getting provinces directly, maybe? I'm not exactly sure, but unjustified demand might help a little bit. So if I'm trying to vassalize these guys, and they were like at 100, if they were 101 and I couldn't actually annex them, I could potentially vassalize them because it would be 10% less for that, maybe. I'm not exactly sure, but maybe. All right, you're still good. You are still good. No war with Burgundy. Oh, you're going to attack Valachia. I'm sure of it. Oh, so oh, oh, this is ter this is actually not good. So these guys are all getting weakened. So Hungary's going to step in and kill them all. Ugh. And then if if Austria gets a union and they own all this, then I'm going to have to go to war with Austria to get it all. That's not going to be fun. Huh. All right. Where are we at with you? We're still at 90. That is at 54. I think we're only going to have time to get one claim. Probably better to start off on with this thing. Fabric of Plan. Yeah, let's do HUD.
So when I do the claims, all right. I'm still going to do have all this stuff be uh I don't have a guy yet. We'll do 3 to 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7. Eh, that's not terrible. That should be I should have a claim on that one. I'm still going to put them all as uh vital interest, but Eh, may not work. We'll see. All right, we're not gonna, not gonna get much more than that. Eighty-six. What are you at? Okay, that's all we really need. Venice could have done it. Uh, I could have. I could have gotten them if I would have worked on that. Um, I should have been doing that actually while I was building a spy network in Ottomans, but what can I say? I always forget something. So before we get anything too crazy, all right. So I got a claim there. I don't know if there's much I can do besides what I've already done as far as secure those things. Depending on what happens with that army, if it runs away, I'm going to detach here and move the rest here so I can make sure that I have prior claim to all that. But before we do that... Got to do... Support independence. Support independence. And we are going to ally Retina for sure. All right. So, before we do anything, I want to make sure. All right, this is vital interest. I got my army's position there. They're at full whatever. Um, I'm going to go down, I'm gonna lower the time, disengage one unit. In fact, we're going to do that right now. They're both going to come down here. That guy's going to go there. In fact, I could just... Now, if I declare war while that's happening... Uh, I don't know. I think if I declare war while my guy's sitting there, it doesn't count, right? Well, I don't know. So... We got Delcadir in Tunis. Austria and the Mamelukes are joining us. We're going to crush them. We're going to lose a lot of war exhaustion, but this is the only way. We're going to lose a lot of um, stability, three of it. But if we don't, then um, we won't. We can't guarantee ourselves getting this. Actually, we can't guarantee getting this anyway because I guess if I didn't call in these two, um, I could guarantee it, but. Yeah, we'll stick with tradition. So, Austria and the Mamluks are coming. You're going down. You're going that way. You are going this way. Okay, I've got you. Iden's leaving. Hopefully, I don't know. I'm gonna speed it up now because we're we're pretty much golden now. I don't know if I'm gonna get this. Ugh. We'll have to try.
So what are we at? There's a little bit of stuff going on there. You know what? We're going to bump this up one. And that's probably enough as long as we're getting one going. So this is what I wanted to do this one. I knew I could secure that and that. But this has, I have a claim and it's a vital interest. These guys should give it to me. Or allied. They, and they don't have a claim in it. Like they don't have a claim here, so they shouldn't uh, sit on it. Uh, if I don't get that, though, I'm going to be pissed about having to restart and figure out a new strategy. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, bankruptcy is a beautiful thing when you're not the one who's bankrupt. Okay, so this guy right here, I should be able to just get a bunch of gold from. We're going to do the war reparations. And... Do I want... I could do that to get some prestige. How much prestige am I going to get? Byzantine gets 4.5. That's fine. We'll wait till they're at 100. We're losing money. And we definitely want to... We don't really need to worry about Tunis um, as far as uh, our little war with that. Um, the only thing we've got to do is potentially white piece them. might take a while. And sometimes this war is over in 55. Um, it's not over right now, but uh, sometimes these guys are called, sometimes they're not. The important thing is, maybe I can white piece them. Because the big thing is, is I, I just want to, I want to get them out of this so that I can get this war done earlier. Two five zero. Wow, that's some sh that's some crappy, crappy rulers. Three zeros. I may get rid of this guy. I may get rid of him. Mamelukes, thank you for helping. Oh, can't get him yet. So that's the thing. I gotta wait for that. Then I gotta wait for that. Then I gotta wait for that to do any kind of pillaging. So you know what? Let's just wait a second. I might be able to get this. I'd rather have uh, war reparations than anything else. It's just a little bit of money. Trade power. Constantinople gets thriving merchant community. Yeah, we want that because we are going to be merchant terrain. Okay, got that one. We're already at 100% up here. So, what was our quest thing? Thessaly base tax. Okay, there's our prestige. You get to go up here. So, depends on a couple of factors, but. So, one, two, three for a coalition, which doesn't matter. Kandar and Karamo won't join. Um, I could do war reparations just to get a little bit of extra money. And I just want to see what that will look like. I'm going to get 78. 71. 69. So it's just a couple years for 70 bucks. I'm going to do this one at 69. 
uh, 13-year peace treaty instead of 15 years just to, uh, in fact, I don't even have to do the war operations, but I kind of want to. So now in the next war, yeah, we're going to do this, I think. Yeah, so it's a me, 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 hells to the yeah. This is why I needed to be focusing on the stability or the administrative, because I need to core that. That's a few hundred. I need to get my stability back. That's a few hundred. And who are you allied to? You're not allied to anybody. So what I may do... And all these... No, okay, so... I'm going to dissolve my alliance with this guy because I'm going to try to get him as a vassal fairly soon. And we are going to... Um, I'm going to have a couple wars. Uh, we want to get Kandar as a vassal. And... Uh, we want to get Aiden as a vassal. So, but the first thing we need to do is... Yeah, these guys have nothing. We're going to just... We're going to take it. No reason to wait. Um, and I think we're going to do... Ah, we're going to do unjustified demands. I want that. And I could vassalize these guys instead of... Um, I could vassalize them instead of uh, conquering them all, but I think I think I'm going to get another. I'm going to release um, Bulgaria. I probably should have done that a little bit sooner, but whatever. We all make mistakes. Statesman died. Here at that. Let's look at. And we're going to. There's no, no choice. We're going to go for him just to get less aggressive expansion. You're almost there. Two, five, four. And I think we're just going to get this guy just to be safe. Are you at okay? We'll get a couple months of healing, then we'll head back down here. So this is at basically after ten years, we got sometimes it's Austria and Hungary and the Mamluks, sometimes it's Poland and Austria and the Mamluks, sometimes it's Hungary and Poland if Austria's been at war, sometimes it's Venice. Um, but we've got all of our cores. We've got this part, and we are set up to wipe out the Ottomans in our next war. We are set up, and Tunis is relatively strong. Dolkadir is pretty weak, but it's a little bit of a deterrent, so without a lot of help, I don't see the Ottomans getting attacked by anyone directly for a while. We'll use our mercenary guy for a while. Oof. Okay. That's actually kind of good. We'll keep this guy. And, uh... You are... Oh! Rivals. Well, I don't know who you picked, but... Their only ally is Uretna. So... We'll be able to get those guys pretty quick. Thrace gets all that. Hell yeah. So we got... Thriving Merchant Community, minus 10%. Influential Power Holder, 10%. As far as development... So that's what we're going to do. We're going to bump you up. Sixty. Yeah, we're going to keep that open. We want to get 
Well, I need to core some of my stuff too. And while we're down here, you can go up here. There you go. Okay, got an extra ship, a free, a free guy. You know what? I'm not sure. All right, we're gonna fabricate on Bolu. We're gonna fabricate on Saruhan. I think I'm gonna annex these guys. Yeah, there's there's no there's no reason not to. You, what's our stuff at? Oh, shit. I didn't really want to do that. Eight and two. We'll do that with our own general. Oh, God, I have such shitty prestige. I guess I'm not getting rid of my guys. Karaman. Okay. A few months and we're going after Kandar. We'll go for Sinope. That's their capital. And, uh... Or, we could do this guy first. We could call. Oh, they've got a truce. Oh, I've got a truce with them too. Okay, yeah. So we're gonna put the truce up. Sixty-one. Yeah, we'll go for these guys first. Before we do that, let's release Bulgaria. Okay, and I gotta really core my shit. That's gonna take some time. All right, what do I got? Okay, I can get rid of increased levies. That's good. Can't do anything else there. That's fine. And let's do you. Thessalia's church. Our prestige over 30. really hope we can get our prestige over 30. I'd love to get that administrative power. Okay. Ooh, hell yeah. All right, so we are going to go to war with them. We got Ramazan, who's crap. We've got Karaman, who we just got to take out one, one guy. And you will come... Oh, that's actually pretty good. In fact, you know what? I don't even... We don't have to worry about them. Let's go take out these guys first because they're already under siege. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. We'll take out those two forts. Just piece them out. Actually, let's not do that. They got a lot more ships than us. This will be gone pretty quick. I think I think I can do that. Once Karaman is gone, we should be fine. I mean, we're going to be fine no matter what, but this one's going to be this will be okay. 
We've got a couple years, we'll go after Aiden again. And even though we'll get a ton of aggressive expansion in this area, we're allied to Mamelukes. So all of our, what did this guy have? Five aggressive expansion from that 60 right there. And he has 48. So that's almost a 10%. So I'd have to do 500 aggressive expansion right over here to really piss off people over there. Well, that's probably not exactly true, but maybe it's close to true. All right, let's just see. You will be pillaged and give me money and a little bit of gold. Uh, let's see one more month if that changes anything. Eh, it did a little bit. Give it a little bit more gold. You know what? That's fine, though. We'll let him be. Once more to the breach. What's our war exhaustion looking like? Ah, let's just get that lower. I don't want to deal with... Too many. Okay. The coring is proceeding apace. Ooh. Ooh. That was not good. But we've got our forts protecting that, so it's not really going to matter. Byzantine noble rebels. Oh. That makes sense. Let's get some money. That's what I really want. Forced to give money, that's fine. You, we got the, till the end of this year to annex you. Atta boy, I don't know how you did it, but you did. So we are vassalizing you. Ottomans, Karaman, Dulkadir, Aiden hates me. Ramazan, Akkoyunlu. So one of them is on a peace thing. Another one is already a tour on peace. One's going to be vassalized. That's good. Okay. Strong Dutchies. Oh, there we go. He's trying to eat up. Malachia. Fuck you, Hungary. Ugh. Oh, well. So I might as well start healing up our relationship with you. Start getting ready to go to war. Ah, shit. So, oh no, how did this happen? Who are you at war with? So you won't come. We will be better off without Ottoman involvement. Good. So we have... Where are we at? Truce will expire with the Ottomans in 69. So I'm going to have to go to war with a lot of people there. Well, might as well go with Venice. Might as well go with Naples. I wish I could make this guy my rival. I should be able to. It's not like I'm that powerful. Speaking of prestige, though, our prestige is pretty low. <sighs> We're at 80. All All right, that should be good. And now we can get rid of that. Can I annex Valor? Okay, can't do that yet. I really need to get my prestige up. We're going to do this temporarily. Uh, 
can I do with you? One more. Okay, we'll do that because we're gonna have to. If we do this guy, we're gonna have to take out. Oh, all of them. Yeah, we're gonna have to take out. We could probably take out this fort first, then what? Like piece them out. <sighs> it's gonna be one, two, three. It's gonna be all of them. But we can get war operations from everybody. While we're waiting, let me just see. No boats, no boats, yes boats. So we need to get some more boats for you. Let's do... Okay. All right, so you are cranky. You're at 54. You are at 11. So I really only have to worry about this area up here as far as getting a coalition. I don't have to worry too much about... Well, maybe, what are you at? You're at 5. Yeah, I don't have to worry about that. I mean, this will piss you off a bit. But the important thing is we have um, Mamelukes and Austria, and no one's going to fuck with us as long as these guys are still our friends. Unless we make a pretty big mess of things. And we're going to do... No, we still have overextension. Should be able to take this fort pretty quick. Let's do reinforce speed. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to get influence first as well. That just makes the most sense to me. Pretty good. And the only thing that might get in the way of this is if they ally the Mamelukes. We're going to wait till some of our boats are done, then we're going to declare on them. Just one more, two more. Okay. So even if I go after you. We have the same manpower. I've got more troops to start with. You're at five. I'm at four. Four, four, five. <sighs> I mean, a safe thing to do as well is just wait seven years. Um, and... Uh, take out the Ottomans, take out all of this for Bulgaria, and that for Kandar, start the annexation process, then go after these guys. And it might also be fine to wait for the Mamelukes. Let me just check. Destabilize them, war exhaustion, diplomatic reputation. Yeah, no, I'm going to be on my own with that. there's anyone else I could ally. I could ally Trebizond, actually. But they wouldn't come to my aid anytime soon. And there's no point in sieging that down until I take down those two guys, too, so... Or Bolin and 
burning through a little bit of money. We got to make a decision quick so we can get our stuff down. <sighs> All right, we're going for we're going for it. We got a lot of money banked up. We should be able to get these guys down pretty quick. A reconquest. Nah, no, we're not. Wait a minute. Oh, actually, I can't do that. Never mind. Hey, we're going for this guy. All right, so we just got to take out this guy. We have one guy that has three to siege. It's our main army, so we siege down this capital, piece them out, back out. Siege down this capital. Run up to this one, peace out. And then, as long as we get this guy out, we should be okay. I don't want to have to get another. Yeah, I'm going to wait for him to move. There he goes. All right, so we're just so we already got three siege down on that guy. We just gotta chill out for a bit. They're gonna try and take out Kandar. They're taking all the heat. I might be able. No, I'm not gonna be able to do that. Okay. Well, this guy, we're gonna have you sit over here while we're waiting, just to make it go faster. A little bit of war score. Don't need to get much from you. Pillage capital. I could pillage capital. In fact, let's do that and more reparations. Piss off the same people, that's fine. Get a little bit of gold. All right, on to Karaman. Man, that three siege pip, that's that's gold. Oh my god. Two, three, three. I'd like a little maneuver, but man, this is guy's almost perfect. Oh, that is just beautiful. I love him. Alright, once that's done, we're gonna boost our stability again, actually. <sighs> Inflation is not good. They have six, but I don't want to get it too high. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the hit. We're gonna we're just gonna get that up to two. Good job, Karaman. Can I vassalize you? Nope, not yet. While we're waiting on you, we're gonna pillage capital again. Piss off the same people. I'm fine as long as it's the same people. We're going to do war operations. Okay. Beautiful. So we're basically going to have a peace treaty with all the people that hate us. I'm not getting any events to raise my prestige either. Um, normally you get like one or two events like, you know, hey, you have a chance between this or getting 15 prestige and that is super helpful, but we have not been getting any of that so far. This guy will be able to knock down that fort earlier. Never worth camera on defender. Worth Ramazan and okay, so we are going to pillage your capital. 
More reparations. Who else is coming? Crimea. He's a little pissed off. We have peace with Karaman, Ramazan, Ertna, Gurmayan, Kandar, Akkoyanla. We don't. Really, I think it's everyone except for Crimea. And uh, Kandar is a vassal. Aiden's going to be a vassal. Yeah, no, that's. I don't care. Nope, no chance. They're getting a lot of stuff about trade, but nothing as far as, uh... Nothing as far as prestige. Just knock off the, uh... Their army real quick. Oh, I can't even get down there because that guy's... No. <sighs> That's going to be tough. We might take it before them if we get lucky. Yeah, there we go. We're going to have to get a pretty big hit, but... No, oh, we're, we're crushing it. Man, I tell you, we're not getting lucky with the prestige stuff, but we're getting lucky with the, uh, the siege. Come on, let's do this one. Kill that guy. Nah, never mind. Still got a chance. Money... Why not? I'm going to have to upgrade you guys eventually anyway. Ten. Give up claims in the knights. I want some gold. Speaking of gold, now we can upgrade you again. And we are taking down our forts. We are taking down our military. All right. Now we play the waiting game for a few years. Let ourselves recover. Boy, I really hope. <sighs> See, I need I need fifty prestige. Ugh. Your state's loyalty would be reduced by twenty. I wonder if I could just do that a few times. Oopsies. Holy shit, maybe I can. Sorry, give me one second. Aderna. Yeah, I want to do that. And can I do it again? Fuck, can I do it again? Oh my god, I can. All right, come on, baby. Don't do it to me. Oh, no. Oh, I'm, oh, somebody else got it. Fucking hell. Uh, somebody else got it. I forget what the event is, is it? Where? Who would have done it? Uh, who would have done it? Wasn't you? Was it you? It's where glass turns into that. It wouldn't have been you. You don't have any prestige. Uh, five. Local t 
tax modifier, current price, trade value, goods produced, merchant companies, base production. Ah, oh, man. Where's the best place to look at this? Where's development? I'm at 20. Ah. I'm sorry, I just, that kind of ruins it for me. Shit. It's not like necessary to have a good game to do that, but it's usually like a one month timer. We got the prestige. We got that. It should have should have came in. Oh, that's sad. Ah, see this is it. This is what I could have done used for earlier. I just needed a few more of those just to get my prestige up. Ah, all, I almost always get it, even before 1470, but, but sometimes... Ah. Well, anyway, as far as a guide... So this is 20 years from Byzantium. We have two vassals. We have three vassals, actually. Here, here, here. They'll be able to be annexed at some point. No coalition, because even though this guy hates us, he's got a peace treaty with us. Even though they hate us, they got a peace treaty with us. Even though they hate us, they got a peace treaty with us. And even though they hate us, they got a peace treaty with us. This is the only one that hates us that doesn't have a peace treaty. But they're fine, they're fine, they're fine, and they do hate us, but that's going to go away. So, we got two years before we're going to reconquest on the Mamelukes to take that and all of this. Then we are going to annex Bulgaria and only have two vassals. Then we will probably be able to vassalize Albania diplomatically and uh, start moving up into the Balkans. Well, I guess this is the Balkans, but start moving up into whatever the hell this is right here. Um, Naples does not have any strong allies, so eventually we could move over here too. Um, but again, this is like a 20-year game for the uh, for Byzantium. Lots of gold, or we had lots of gold. Decent income. Recover the coastline is done. Expand Byzantium and Greece are done. And we have claims on all of this now. So that is a pretty good start to Byzantium. I like this method better than trying to start through... Um, there's a couple of setbacks, you know. We lose our empire status. Uh, but, you know, we can get this back pretty quick. Um, once we upgrade this, um, you know, in 10 or 20 years, we'll be able to have our three diplomats over there again. It should be fine. But, uh, yeah, even though we got a lot of aggressive expansion down there, this is going to take very little aggressive expansion. And uh, we can start working up here because these guys, look, they got two. He's got two. He's got 124. So it's really good to start spreading things out. And uh, the only problem with this is that these guys, it's going to be a, take a little bit longer to annex them. But you know what? I'm fine with that because... Uh, and you know what? We had a shitty ruler. I should have turned back like two negatives here. Good luck in a, a lot of the things. Um, well, and to be honest, like this is this is actually pretty par for the course. Um, I could have got Venice as an ally as well. I could have gotten more claims on this. Um, I had bad RNG as far as the uh, little events that add prestige. I got a lot of trade power stuff, but you know what? Uh, I think this is a pretty good, it's a pretty good one as far as a good start for Byzantium. Yeah, we didn't get the didn't get the Diamond District. If you did, this doesn't happen in a month or two after you get you know your prestige up there. And wait a minute, no, I did, I did, I, yeah, I did do the Renaissance. What the hell am I talking about? Yeah. Okay, I just I thought I might have not done that, but. Yeah, I mean, you... (sighs) 
No, we can't get everything. But you know what? I didn't know that I could do the whole prestige farming thing with, with that uh, by tanking the burgers loyalty. I could have done that two or three times potentially. Um, I know I, I did it once right there. I probably could have done it again, I think. Let me just look at it. No. Uh, um, to revoke, yeah, the loyalty must be higher than the influence. So, yeah. Well, I could, I could, I could do it once, but you know what? That's... Uh, yeah, I, I got very little prestige, if any, during the beginning of the game. And I started off at negative 40, which was a huge detriment. But this is almost perfect. There were the only two things that I couldn't really change is... This is not a bad ruler as far as the stats, but this is pretty shitty as far as his, you know, feats. This is a bad... This is, I'd say this is a an average ruler. I'd, I'd like to have a good one. I'd probably reset until I get a good one. This is, and I would have, it would have been fine if he was bad as long as the air was better. Um, and I couldn't, you know, disinherit without uh, tanking my prestige. So, um, but anyway, that's the guide. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, anybody that's trying to do a Byzantium run, I would advise doing it this way first. It's a little awkward starting as the Ottomans, it's not as fun. But you know what? After a few years, after you kind of destroy them and then become Byzantium, <laughs> and then you you got your you got your vassals and you're a couple years away from taking them out. Like it's it's pretty fun. You start with a lot of money and you are just you are ready to take on the world. Um, chances are, like this isn't a good uh, king, but he's better than the one you start with. And. Uh, I think that the heir is like a 3-2-2 two, two, or a 2-2-3 two, two, or something like that. He's, he's pretty bad too, so um, chances are whenever I've released a guy, the king is hes not always good, but he's usually average or above average, and the king you normally start with with Byzantium is pretty shitty, and they have a tendency to die really quickly, and I've been in a personal union quite a few times, which irritates me, so anyway... Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty fun, pretty fun way to start Byzantium. I think lots of money, potentially lots of tech if you get a good ruler. Uh, good diplomacy to start. You're almost you're guaranteed to get Austria unless they're at war. You're almost guaranteed to get the Mamelukes depending on what their diplo is like, and uh, sometimes you know if Poland has that Poland has to have Moldavia as a vassal and they have to rival the Ottomans. Those two things are, are necessary. Um, and uh, Poland's not as important because I almost always go for Muscovy later on and they're usually rival to Poland. And I have gotten a Muscovy or a, a Russia personal union before, like naturally. I've gotten it maybe twice naturally, once when I was playing Brandenburg into Prussia, and once when I was Byzantium, expanding through here, you know, and uh, going that way in around 1650, uh, maybe in 1600 actually, I got Russia. Uh, we had the same, they had the same dynasty as I did. It was pretty fun. It was pretty fun. So, anyway. Um, you guys have a good night, and we will play later.